Welcome back to another Jay's Collective video. And I took the week off last week. I just, between finals, I was just kind of resting. And I just took the whole week off. I wasn't intending to, but I did. So, well, hopefully, I'm on break now. So, hopefully, the rest of the summer, I'll have a better schedule. And I'll be able to get videos done more often and not feel as rushed. Because usually, I did my videos on the weekend since I was at college. But with that aside, let's now take a look at our character for today. And we have Marvel Legends Infinity Saga War Machine from Civil War. Civil War is getting a lot of love in this wave, so yeah. And this is probably one of my next more anticipated characters, if not the most anticipated character, because I never got the original War Machine. I really like his um, armor for this particular movie. So with that said, let's now take a look at the package. Okay, so looking at the package here, we get a look at the Civil War logo up there. We get a look at War Machine inside the box. Comes with quite a bit of accessories. And I noticed on Iron Man last time, he had a small helmet. So hopefully uh, he does not suffer that. Uh, we look, get a look at the Infinity Saga right there. We get a look at the side box art right there. Turning this side, we get a look at the other side of the box art right there. And we get a look at the poster on the back, which is always my favorite part about these Infinity Saga characters. Once again, Tony's um, helmet is on his head. Don't know why. Again, I'm not quite sure to some like legal rights or whatnot, but um, I just noticed ever since Robert Downey Jr. stopped playing the character, anytime we see uh, Tony Stark's head, there's always a helmet on him. But anyway, uh, we get a look at Cap right there by him, and we get a look at the rest of the package. Of course, his bio will be on this side, but um, yeah. So that's a look at the package and everything. Let's now take a look at War Machine and the plastic tray. All right, so inside the package here, we get a look at some accessories on top. We get some hands. I may not take those out. We'll see. We get a look at War Machine right there. We get a look at some other accessories down at the bottom here. And so, yeah, he's kind of packed with a lot of stuff. And I'm sure it's all like weapons and whatnot for him. So with that said, let me take them out and we'll take a closer look at those accessories. Okay, so first up for accessories for War Machine here, um, we have... The baton piece, but it's in like it's closed like form. It's a lot tinier here. It'll just pour into the back of his like um, armor, which we'll show here in a little bit. It's just one black color. No other little details on there, but um, that's just it's closed form. Sticking with the closed forms of his weapons, we got the little cannon that kind of just ports into the back of his back. Um, see, so got just one black little piece. It's kind of tiny. Again, it's supposed to be closed up. Um, so yeah, it's nothing really to say. I guess, you, again, you can just have it on him when you're not using the cannon. Next up, we have the cannon here. It's on this, like, a little hinge that can move up and down when it's poured into the back of him. Again, it's all one color here. Um, these are a bit loose on his um, back when you do put them in, so just know that. But I do like this little piece. Probably could use a bit more detail, but um, let me know if this is close to what's supposed to represent in that movie and everything. Um, so that's a look at the gun. Let's now take a look at his baton. And finally, we have the baton here. Again, it's all like kind of like a black color here. Has some little red on on um, the handlebar here, um, and I think some red on this side of the of the baton, if not this side right here, or both, one of the sides. But um, anyway, I don't remember him using this in the film. I'm sure he did, but just let me know in the comments below what, what point in the movie it was. Um, but yeah, we have this piece to have him hold and everything so that's a look at the accessories he does come with two more pieces but they kind of connect to his ankle so i'll just kind of show those while we're showing the character but with that let's now take a look at war machine all right so here we have the head sculpt and real quick sorry if the light changed i'm still trying to test out whether i used to have a lamp by me on all the time while i did these did these reviews but sometimes it doesn't look too great so i turned it off so if it looked better in the last clip while i was um, showing off the accessories let me know but that's one thing I definitely want to upgrade sometime in the future. Light and audio. But with that said, let's not talk about the head here. So here we have War Machine's head. It's kind of like the silverish gray paint. Everything we got his red eyes. Should be able to see it there. Um, of course, this is from Civil War. Got the black um, part of the head back here. Some silver. So he doesn't look like he suffers a small helmet thing like Iron Man did. I mean, maybe he does. But I don't know. Just let me know. Do you think this is a small head? Because like I said in the last video, Iron Man had quite a small head for that suit. Um, taking a look at his shoulder pads here. This one has like a star and some wings on the side. So I bet that has to represent something for the military. Because he is in the military and the MCU. But this one is just plain black. The shoulder pads can't move. So I bet it's for him to move his arms. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see in a moment. Um, 
Taking a look at the torso here, we do got his um, arc reactor right, where is it? Right there. So it should have like a little red paint there. Got some black for the rest of the torso. It's just a little bit silver here and there. Especially on the sides here. So he's pretty just mainly one color. And I do like this armor. It's probably my favorite armor from the, all of the movies he's been in. Um, take a look at the back of the torso. Ooh, don't want to knock off that piece there, which we'll get to in a moment. Um, we got to look at the back of the torso here. Got some silver paint just throughout the back here. So got some right here, I believe. Some on the sides. He got some on the side of his arms there. Um, but the rest of it is just kind of like black. You got some silver on the back there as well of his legs. There's that. Um, taking a look at the arms here. It's kind of just got some silver, I think, up here just a little bit. But the rest of it's black. You do got a little silver on like the tip of that point right there. And then it's going to be the same for this arm. Except this arm has the a little, like, a little number on his bicep there that says 003. Not quite sure if you can see it, but it does say that there. Um, so if it doesn't show, I may come back and do another clip. Um, but if not, that was that. And then on this side, the arm should be the same with that little silver spot on the end here. Um, black arm, silver bicep there. So we'll just get one more shot up close of that. Just try to see if we can get it in shot there. Um, but, um, yeah. So that's a look at the arms and body. Now down here in the legs, I'll just kind of go through real quick. Just got some silver throughout the legs and everything, but the rest of it's mainly black. But the things I want to talk about here are these like little side panels that are on his legs. These were accessories that you could just, um, you're able to tip put back on here. I'm not quite sure what they're supposed to represent. They have these pieces that can kind of stick out like that. Um, again, I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be for. Let's move that arm. Um, oh, there one fell off. So um, these do come off really easily. I don't like that. Again, I'm not quite sure what they represent, they're supposed to represent. My friend Sam and I think they're just supposed to be armor plates. Um, but there's not, there's no like any like paint on them. There's black. But those little pieces do um, move, but I thought I broke one here earlier. I was trying to get this one on. I struggled for quite a bit. So I just don't like how those are separate. And let me know if that's supposed to be something on the side of his legs. I, this has to be something if these are able to move. I just don't know what from the movie it's supposed to be. And like, see, that came off again. So, um, yeah, that's one of, my, one of my three complaints. I have three complaints about this war machine, um, which we'll get to the other two here in a few moments. But, um, yeah, I just... There we go, I got lucky that time. But um, yeah, just something I don't like, how those are easily come off and they were detached. Um, but anyway, and that's basically the rest of the figure and everything, just a silver paint on the legs here and there. But again, it's all mainly black. So again, I just really like this war machine. Um, my other complaint is, you can kind of see here, kind of like, kind of like I called it uh, Snow Angel, where his arms are like out all the way. And I do know that this is probably an older figure, probably from the Civil War line. They just kind of reissued, reissued it. But maybe I can't give it too much complaint about that if that's the case. But I just, I, his arms are out quite a bit. And even though he has like a bulky body, um, I feel like they should be down just a smidge. But they are just kind of out quite a bit there. And my only other complaint I have with this character is that he doesn't come with a Don Cheadle head. Um, I feel like that kind of... I wish it came with one. We haven't got one in quite a while. Um, just kind of like the Tony Stark hat, where we have one on mask. So that's the other uh, the really thing I wish this came with. Um, that was new and everything. But yeah. So that's a look at War Machine. Of course, we'll take a look at how to put those accessories onto the back of him in one moment. But let's take a look at articulation. So artic articulation, he can move his head side to side. You can probably turn it 360 degrees, but I don't want to force it and you know rub the paint. Um, his head can go back that far, so barely, if not any. And go down quite a bit there, but that doesn't really do any good. Uh, does it go side to side? I don't think it does. Uh, you can move his arms somewhat. No, you can't. Okay, so you can't really move his arms 360 degrees. Even though these are, these can move up and down, they don't really do much. But you can pull his arm out that far, so that's somewhat good. All right, we've resumed out a bit there to try to do this. Um, can bend his elbow in like so twist at the 
um, whole arm, I guess, so not even the elbow. Kind of get that back in position. There we go. Twist up the hands a little bit. They actually, maybe not. They do twist a bit, but I think it's that little chunk of armor right there that's kind of over his hand that's causing it to stop. But it does go side to side. Um, so, probably going to be the same for this arm as well. Can bend it in like so. And then you can twist at the whole, basically, arm right there. Um, the hand can twist around, just again, that little piece over. It's kind of um, forcing it not to move. And then, like I said, you can move it out that far. Um, he does go waist. Yes, he does. Okay. He does turn to waist. Um, he does go side to side. He can bend that far down, I think. Does he have an ab crunch? So we're trying not to break those pieces off while doing it. I'm going to say no. He may have an ab crunch, but maybe, he, I just from what I can tell, he doesn't. Um, he can do the splits like so. He can bend the legs like that. And then he can, he doesn't twist. Well, he twists a little bit, but hold on the leg there, just side to side. And then his foot. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen, I don't think. Okay, so yeah, um, that's not supposed to happen. There, there, there is a ball joint. I'm hoping that this just pops back on. Um, yeah. Has anyone else had that problem? Because I, I don't know what just happened there. Um, let's see, can I get this to go back on? That's my, okay, there we go. Oh boy, that was scary. <laughs> That reminded me of my Moon Knight review. His his foot or his arm came out of the socket, so I'm gonna say this doesn't really move. I'm kinda scared to do that again. Let me know in the comments below if you see anyone else had that problem or if you had that problem with his foot. It does go side to side and can turn here and there, but um yeah, that was quite scary. Um I just I never I'm oh, open there goes that piece again. <laughs> i never seen one of the feet uh, popped off before of one of these Marvel Legend characters. So, um, yeah. Okay, let's let's not do that again. Um, now I gotta figure out how this goes back on. There we go, it's back on. Um, this leg can kick out that far, can go back that far, can bend at that knee like so, and then twist side to side. Oh boy, that one, I had trouble getting that one on. <laughs> um, yeah, you see now why I don't like those being off, if that's the case. But, um, I just don't understand why they would have those on. But maybe you all know, and I don't. But, um, anyway. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut the camera here and try to get this back on, because I did struggle quite a bit with this one. Oh, oh we got it. Okay, no, we got it on. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, that's a war machine. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, okay. So, with that said, let's not take a look at some of these accessories here. So, we'll take a look at the ones that are closed up. Probably hear they're moving in the background. So I don't know if there's a certain way to put these on, but you just, this one has more of a square. Let's see if I can get in the shot. It's more of a square um, kind of peg. It just goes in the square slot right on the back of his back here. So we're just gonna put it in like so. And like I said earlier, these are a bit loose, so just know that. Move the camera up a bit. There we go. We got that, and then this one, I can't remember my friend Sam. My friend Sam, huge shout out to him, he was helping me. This one was a bit confusing before I would film, so he came over, had to get, bring me a box, and just kind of helped me get this put together. And so I think he said that goes in like that. Again, I can't remember if he said it goes in a certain way. Um, it's, it's supposed to be his baton, so there's that. Um, yeah. Those are kind of cool. I don't know. I just, I'm really, if I if I were to display him outside the box, which I won't probably, but I prefer the um, gun cannon mode. But there's that. It may be a little crooked, but um. Anyway, those just pop off like so. And let me just hit the camera. Sorry. Um, when it comes to this one, you just kind of gotta put this into the peg like so. And just like last time, this one feels like it's gonna break a bit may break while you're doing it but we had we were successful successful and so we just pop it in like that okay there we go we got the cannon and you can just kind of twist it side to side a bit don't know how far you can twist i guess that's as far as you can twist it to go all the way around i'm scared that's going to break if i do any further but i feel like it's supposed to do that um so yeah 
we got that and if we put a baton here we just grab it right here he can just hold it like so so i don't know if there's a certain way he's supposed to hold it um but just get in his hand maybe i can get in his hand here there we go again i don't remember him using the hand to film but i'm sure he did just let me know comments below who knows i may be right but i am probably wrong <laughs> um but anyway so there we go there's a look at that baton i'm not a huge fan of that baton but it's part of his accessories i do like the hand of those that's pretty cool so yeah all right, well, that's a look at War Machine. Let me get in a pose. We'll take a look at my final thoughts. Okay, so there you go. That's my review of War Machine from Captain America Civil War. A pretty cool character. I like it, except for those, like, minor complaints. His foot came off, which, again, I'm not quite sure why that happened. Um, let me know again if that's happened to you all before. Those little spots, or those little armor pieces come off really easily. I'm not even quite sure why they're off in the first place, but that happened. Um, his, like, little snow angel arms things. Again, it's probably old mold, so that's understandable. But the one thing I wish he did came with that could have helped this character was maybe a Don Chill head or Rhodey head. So... That's one thing I just wish it came with. I do like the gun. The, even though I'm not a huge fan of the, the the baton, it's still pretty cool. I like that. And then the like the feature where you can have him like where he's not using it, it's also pretty cool. You just gotta store those other pieces somewhere else. So overall, even though I have those minor complaints, I still really like this character. Of course, I'll do my ranking at the very end of all of these reviews of all of eight characters from the newest wave. I guess technically it's kinda old at this point, but um yeah, let me know your thoughts, comments below. Do you like this War Machine? Is this your favorite War Machine armor just in the MCU? And I guess kind of going back to the first question, if this isn't your favorite War Machine, which War Machine do you prefer from the MCU that they have released so far? So with that, next week will be, I believe, Spider-Man from Civil War, our third Civil War character. And yeah, after that, we'll do Bruce Banner and then my ranking. So with that, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.